What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Toy Addict 17. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the My Hero Academia All Might Silver Age variant figure by McFarlane Toys. This figure already looks pretty cool in the packaging. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, it comes in the same standard packaging, nice window case, showcasing the figure, and all his accessories. At the top, it says My Hero Academia, nice image of All Might. At the bottom, it says All Might as well. On the side, it says My Hero Academia, McFarlane Toys logo at the top. If you look in the back, I move it up close. You see, it says My Hero Academia, McFarlane Toys logo at the top. Nice full image of All Might and nice full image of all the figures from this line. And this figure comes with 22 moving parts. Would you look at that? On the side, it says All Might. Okay, you guys, that's the packaging. So now, let's take a look at the figure. Okay, you guys, before we take a look at the All Might figure, I wanted to take a look at some of the accessories he comes with. <laughs> And as you can see, there is nothing here. Um, you know, I, I look back at the intro of this video and, you know, I always say, yeah, you know, nice window case with showcasing the figure and all its accessories. Like, and clearly, as you can see, there's nothing here. And forgive me, I was laughing a few minutes ago, but let's take a look at the things he comes with. As you can see, he comes with the same standard display base. Again, you know, nothing's fancy here. It's just, you know, black plastic peg in which you could display the figure. It says My Hero Academia here in white. All right. And he comes with additional hands. These are relaxing hands. Besides the uh, fisted hands he comes with. All right. As you can see, nothing, you know, nothing too special. You know, he does have sculpted fingernails in there, which, you know, look okay. Nothing crazy. You know, all right. Yeah, you guys, that's that's the accessories. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you more. All right, so let me zoom this camera out a bit so you guys could take a look at the all my figure. And here he is with all his glory. Looking really nice in his red and it's, you know, white stripes or lines, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, again, some sculpted detail here and there. Looking pretty cool. Um, I do have some QE, you know, QC issues with this figure. I mean, there are some paint splotches, you know, in some areas and, you know, some, some of the paint looks like, you know, they didn't, you know, they should have went over it, you know, again, you know, it looks kind of like transparent. So it kind of looks whack. But overall, the, um, muscle definition looks really cool on this figure. Um, I like this outfit. Um, I do have the other, this is the variant version, um, and from what I remember, he did use this um, silver um, costume in the show, you know, a couple of times. Not a lot. He does have the other, he, you know, mainly wears, you know, he's a teacher. He, you know, he wears a suit, but, you know, he mainly wears the uh, the blue costume. But, yeah, so, I mean, overall, he looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at the head sculpt first. Zoom in a little bit. I don't know why I'm smacking. I don't have nothing in my teeth. All right, well, let's zoom in a little closer to this guy so we can really look at him. So the head sculpt looks pretty cool. I like the head sculpt. Uh, nice smile here, as you can see, those nice pearly white teeth. All right, eyebrows are sculpted in really nice. Hair looks really cool as well. Has a nice grin on his face, nice black for his eyes. You know, looking really nice. Here's all like, I, I don't know what he was going with, with this hairstyle, but you know, you know, hair sculpted really nicely, as you can see. Nice sculpted detail for the hair. Nice yellow with some, you know, other colors mixed in in there. I mean, I don't know if that's black or, you know, like a brownish color just mixed in, but it looks really nice. It looks really, really nice. All right. Um, all right, what else? Let's see. Uh, so moving down, you can see his nice red. All this is not sculpted, all this is painted on. And you see the little splotch of red there. They kind of missed that mark there. And um, that's the, I mean, I went to GameStop. That's where I picked this one. As a matter of fact, if you guys don't know, check the GameStop app. They have like this big old sale. I purchased this figure for $1.74, believe it or not. Had a big sale, so I definitely had one before. I had one of these already. I have actually both of them. So, you know, when I saw that they had a sale, I figured I'd buy one or review one. 
and then just keep the other one in packaging but you know good deal didn't spend a lot which is great you know i guess it's all their clearance stuff they're trying to get rid of but you know i was really happy to pick this up but again back to the figure you can see splotch right here you know some nice white lines here overall not too bad on the chest area all right on the arms you can see more of that splotch splotch of yellow there some red there kind of going into the line kind of looks funny so i don't know what the hell this is right here but yeah i mean overall you know it's not a deal breaker you know i i get over it let me zoom out just a little bit so i could keep this camera focused on you if, on this guy all right but yeah and if you can see here what i was talking about it you see that it has like it's painted but you could kind of see a little bit of the red up there like it's sh they should have went over it once more to kind of just keep that white but you know whatever again the muscle definition of this figure looks pretty cool you know it's i don't expect it to be like you know like an actual you know i mean this is anime so i mean i don't know it's cartoon also so i don't really care but it looks pretty cool all right you see more of the splotch here as you can see all right these uh you know arm bands or gauntlets whatever you call these nice color nice sculpted detail here kind of like the <laughs> the batman gauntlets but they're not you know this right here really nice same on this side nice sculpted detail belt looks pretty cool as well let me um move it up a bit maybe i should just zoom in just a little so you guys can see I mean not i want to show you everything but you know again they kind of missed the mark in that little corner right there but well whatever again you're gonna see a lot of defects with the paint the paint apps are not that great but you know, again for a dollar 74 what the hell all right see some of the blue seeping in there but you know whatever all right but overall it looks pretty cool and you can see the the um I don't know what this how this is supposed to be like maybe like an eagle or something symbol or something but you see the eye on this side is like crooked and then this one's like painted in right so they I don't, I don't know whatever all right not too much on the legs just you know some nice white coming down looks pretty clean all right let's see on this side and then on this side not too bad Moving down, you see all this muscle definition on the legs, looking really cool. All right, the legs and the boots, looking really nice as well. Nice white with red here. All right, nice yellow. The ball pegs on the on ankles kind of, you know, they don't match the paint, so they kind of look like a lighter yellow compared to this, but you know, that's how McFarlane's um, ankle joints are. So, you know, whatever, but who's complaining? See some paint missing here. I mean, overall, it's not a bad looking figure. Looks pretty cool. Let me zoom out so you can see more. Let's look at the back. Let's look at this cape. The cape looks pretty cool. I'm really happy with the cape. Nice, you know, folds and wrinkles here for the capes. So, you know, give it the effect like it's flowing. And you can detach this. Let me show you this right here. This little gray part right here looking really nice with some yellow. This is painted really nicely. Did a good job with that. Really cool. And like I said, you could detach this as a peg in the back, which was really, really good. You know, both both the variant and the uh, regular version both have these. So you can actually put this cape onto the other figure, which is pretty cool. It says peg there. Nice muscle definition for the back. There's not much detail, but again, this covers it. So whatever. The belt, nice detail for the belt here. All right. See the back of the figure. All right. Looking pretty cool. All right. Yeah, so, you know, overall, not too bad of a figure. I, I, I like it. Just, you know, the paint apps kind of suck a little bit, you know, and 
you know, I was on a roll here with the uh, DC Multiverse for, you know, figures and those paint has been great. So, you know, to kind of have one that, you know, whatever, it's not a deal breaker. All right. So while we're here, let's take a look at the articulation. All right. So we're going to start with the head. His head moves down quite a bit. All right. It moves up just a little bit. Uh, he does have some head tilt in there. And his head does move side to side. Nice amount. Good. He has uh, butterfly joints that move in pretty, you know, rotate. And they do move up and down. His arm does rotate 360. Uh, ooh. Okay. You see the crunching there? So, you know, it does rotate 360. He has a bicep swivel. He has uh, single jointed elbows, you can see. All right. And his uh, wrists do rotate and they do move side to side or up and down, depending on how you, you know, you move it, but they do move in about like that, you know, that's on both sides. All right. It has a diaphragm joint, it moves up that much, moves back that much. It does pivot a little bit and you can kind of like rotate it around. He does have a waist swivel as well that moves side to side. You know, does pivot, crunches this much, crunches back that much, not too bad. Hips rotate here, no um upper thigh cut. He does not do a full split, but that's how far his hip joints move, which is okay. Um, no uh, upper thigh cut here. He does have double jointed at the knees there. Pretty cool. That's good. All right, no calf rotation. And um, this part right here is a bit stiff, but I'll use this side, which is better. His ankles do move up. They do move down. They do rotate. He does have an ankle pivot in there. He does have one. I mean, they are a bit stiff, but he does have one there. And he does have toe articulation. All right, and let not forget, he does not have threads under the feet, but he does have a peg hole. So you can put them on the um, display base. Yeah, so that's the articulation for this figure. Again, um, minus the, uh, you know, the paint apps, you know, the little splotches here and there. This is a pretty cool looking figure. I really like this figure. You know, again, this is a, uh, a nice figure to have in your collection, especially like if you take for, you know, if you do photography and, you know, you like to take pictures of, you know, do like, you know, battles and stuff this would be a nice um figure to kind of like you know pose him with like maybe like fighting superman or something like that but i i like him and he's a good guy so you know i wouldn't put him against superman or i would have him like with superman but overall you know again it's a pretty cool figure i love this character um yeah so i mean again it's pretty cool and then as you i'm show you out the cape again the peg here you kind of have to like Put it in there and that's it you know nothing nothing crazy but overall i i like this figure yeah you know none it's not much you could say you know it's again dollar 74 <laughs> that that's a that's a deal for me so you know definitely check your uh game stops you know if they're open and they're letting you know customers in you know i know they're following the cdc guidelines and stuff but i mean if you get a chance go and check it out see if they have these maybe they still have them on say you could get yours get you one maybe get you a couple maybe do some customs but you know overall or even fix some of these qc issues i might do that i don't know but overall this is a pretty cool figure i like it okay you guys so that was my review of the all might silver age variant figure by mcfarland toys and what can i say i like this figure i like the muscle definition on this figure the Head sculpt looks really, really cool. I love the design of the figure. I do have some problems with it though. You know, the whole QC issue with the paint apps, you know, they were a bit annoying. Um, some of the joints could be a bit stiff and you know, that display base, it's, you know, I'm not a big fan of it, just like the DC multiverse figures. But overall, it's a great looking figure. Um, it's gonna look really, really cool with my other figures. Um, yeah, so if you're a Hero Academia fan or an All My fan, you know, this is definitely a figure for you. And for $1.75 at GameStop, it's not a deal breaker. It's, you know, that's a steal. So, you know, again, great figure. Um, as always, guys, you want to show your boy some love? 
hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when my videos are coming up. I thank you for all those who are supporting me on this channel. I thank you for all the new subscribers for subscribing. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.